Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Welcome back to Far Cry 3. I've been doing uh, side quests. And I actually unlocked a decent chunk of the island, as you can see. So now we're heading to. That away. However, as is often the case, I will have to cut a swath of devastation across. Okay. Across Rock Yacht. Which one is this? Hunt a bear with a machete. Fine, sure. You know, is a machete really the best way to extract something undamaged? I would think a, you know, a sniper round through the dome would work. Shortcut. So, um, I did a few, uh, wanted dead quests, a few hunt quests. Um, I really do like, uh, getting this privateer suit because I think it mixes up like the game world though I think that it is uh, breaking the uh, Geneva Convention so now we're gonna go look for some bears isn't this also a crime bear baiting now luckily I've had my uh, my my like stab skills all strengthened up to shit so like this shouldn't be too much of a problem I say with a grenade of salt why'd you get your bow out Jason wow who left all this fish out am I actually engaging in bear baiting right now because I don't like that Nice. God. All right. Spider number 20. That reminds me. Speaking of spiders. This has been... Well, this is now maxed out. That's every skill. This is only missing this, and I've neglected this. Oh, hold on. Now here's where we're at. We've got 10 missions left. We've got five radio towers. We have one outpost. Nope, we have 11 outposts. I can't read. We're almost halfway done on these. We're a lot of the way through on this. We've done a whole lot more of everything else. So, let's find out where the next thing is. We're heading... this way. Ah, what the hell. Let's take the scenic route, eh? Weird. That's a bug. So because of the privateer suit, now privateers won't shoot us on sight. I needed this. I'm probably going to crash it into a ditch in like a couple of minutes, but you know, until then I needed it. So yeah, we're just going to be clearing out outposts. Um. Alright, I'll get out. And sometimes these textures, I don't think they were meant to be seen in HD. Uh, 
All right. So um, I've discovered an amusing bug that I can abuse uh, with a one of dead quests. If you manage to just bum rush right to the target and kill them, and then the other guys kill you after the mission clears, that counts. That's clean. Well, the only people I can see here are two heavies. And a sniper. And a rego. But yeah, we can actually freely walk around outside this place. And until we actually get into it, yep, like that, we're totally fine. It just makes this kind of strange, you know? Now these sorry saps have unfortunately landed right next to here. Which means that killing them is pretty necessary. Of course I do have to kill everyone. Yeah, I definitely think that the bow is like you're supposed to have it at every point in this at every stage in the game. Like, it's almost... Is it weird how great the bow is? Like, it's a million-year-old weapon, you know? Who else is even here? We got those guys. But that's basically it, huh? This is really unfortunate for them. I have to sleep in a My. That was a deceptively easy outpost. Like, you'd think for this stage in the game, I guess I've got a good build to counter it, but on the other hand, do I really have a build? Like... At this point, I have so many of the abilities that, like, I don't really have a build. I just have all of the abilities. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've got to go through and do all of the side quests that I haven't done. Maybe I'll make that an episode where I uh, don't talk. <laughs> Hoist my ass up there. Sorry. Oh, I can come back and do that. I've got tangentially more important things to do here. Okay. You trained for this. Yeah, the bow is so satisfying to use. Oh, and there's that right there. So I can probably launch off of this and then parachute right down there. So I believe the parachute will allow for slower but safer vertical movement and less horizontal movement. While the wingsuit is a lot of horizontal movement, um, but not a lot of control over your verticality. You either go down fast or down faster. Oh, this is cool. They're having a moment with their one chair next to their big wrecked yacht rock. Every time I click start trial, I think it's going like, to be like your, three, your 30 day trial. Oh, seriously, huh? What? How did that happen? I miss them, huh? So I, I got in a Jeep earlier. This is unrelated. Um, this is just a thing that I was thinking about. But in the video game, Far Cry 3, as I was playing earlier off cam, just to, you know, get some shit done off screen, I had this weird moment of, like, memory. You ever have, like, a memory flash? And you're like, oh my god, I remember this thing. And you remember this thing from, like, eons ago? I remembered, of all things, the first time I had ever seen a jeep. So, you know, like, the first time I had ever seen a car without, like, doors. 
I remember like losing my mind. I was like, you can do that? You can just have a car that doesn't have doors? It was a uh, 4th of July. I was probably about like six. Maybe as old as eight, maybe. And I remember asking him like, can we have a car that doesn't have doors? He's like, yeah, get a Jeep. I'm like, wait, can we just take the doors off of this one? And he, like, my little baby brain, like, couldn't comprehend. I just couldn't understand how that isn't how it worked. All right. Oh, wow, there's the rock. More body armor. They're really just giving me the, the goodies I need here. So I guess I have a weapon that doesn't really allow for, like, defense of myself. How did that go that wide? Oh, it's when they shoot me, it goes wide. That makes sense, actually. Maybe it's when they shoot me and I don't have armor. Because at the very least, they are shooting me. Ah, well. I have done the trial. Whether or not I have a high score is irrelevant. I did it. Oh, look. They even gave me one. That's cool. I've got my own. This is the coolest thing. This is one of the very few things that I think I'm going to miss when it comes time to play uh, other games. Oh, fuck, man. Oh, man, I'm all the way back here. Bro, what the hell? A little more direct route, at least. Yeah, for some reason, that memory always stuck with me. It's 4th of July, my whole family was there. Grandma was explaining to me how easy it is to mutilate your own body with a firework, and how many times that her mom worked in the hospital and saw little boys who had destroyed themselves and blown off their fingers with fireworks, and I was like, yeah, sure, Grandma, sure, I don't care. Um, Cause like, I'm in the middle of 4th of July and I'm six. I'm not allowed near a lighter, much less an explosive. I mean, I'm not really in danger, barring a freak accident, but the nature of a freak accident is that it isn't my fault. I probably told this story before, but like, people are like, dude, how come you talk shit on your grandma? That's not cool. And I'm like, dude, if I, have a, I have, uh, if I had a grandma who was immune to shit talking, I wouldn't do it. But she's always like, she's so neutral that I... Like, she's just playing devil's advocate for no reason. Like, she was talking about this time when her mom, her mom, my great-grandmother, uh, like, came to school in blackface, and I groaned because, Jesus Christ, and also, why are you telling me this story? I don't want to hear this. Uh, oh, I'm okay. Well, that's good. And she was like, well, you have to understand it was the style of the time. It's like, I do understand. That it doesn't change anything about how this is an awful story to hear. I hate hearing about how your grandma, how your mom and my great-grandmother, rather, Dressed up as Aunt Jemima back in 1950 or something. And you know that, like, she's just going to keep telling that story forever. It's like, you have to understand, you know, back in the day, racism was the flavor, you know? Everyone just had to go along with it. Very irritating. Be a very formative injury. Uh, injury. Very formative memory. Just my grandma being like, hey, here's all the mutilations I've heard about. And like, my dad explained to me what a Jeep was because I saw some lady sticking her leg out the side of a Jeep. So I go this way. Sometimes these towers really feel like busy work. Because when I'm clearing outposts, I'm doing something, you know? I'm doing something and not nothing. But with these... Oh, do I actually go down here? Oh, okay. I thought that that was the wrong way. Silly me. 
with these, I feel like I'm not doing actual work, you know? Oh, I see what it is. Like, I feel like I'm doing a, a very simple platforming puzzle in a game that doesn't really have platforming, per se. And so, like, it's not even like an Assassin's Creed thing where it's like, ooh, yeah, I get to do parkour. It's like, it's just not as cool as that. And it is largely identical to an Assassin's Creed tower. It even has the same spin around. It's why a lot of people call them uh, Ubisoft towers, because Far Cry and Assassin's Creed are both owned by the same company feature a nearly identical game mechanic. Right. Now I think I'm heading north still. Indeed I am. Well, let's go there first. Ooh, that was close. Hey, you got some cool stuff in the shops, though. That's neat. Perfect. That was beautiful. Nice. on the floor there. It's not even anywhere. Just standing in the middle of nothing. All right. Oh, hey, guys. Sometimes getting those fucking things is so demoralizing because it's like, all right. Now I'm only one... Oh, God. I'm one... F I'm not even one third of the way there. Like, I just finished one fourth. Oh yeah, you can like bank in the air. Okay. Now that I'm here, I imagine I'm not supposed to like raid this place yet. This place yet. I guess I'll just run around. Also, I like that the parachute repacks itself. I'm not sure if parachutes can actually do that. I think it depends on the parachute, but some of them actually have, like, I think they have a, uh, a small explosive in them to basically pop the parachute out. Um, a lot of them have the, the small chute, and that's what happens when you pull the ripcord, and when that comes out, it drags the bigger chute out. Because, like, a human doesn't have the strength to pull out that giant thing with the little lever they have on their chest. The little ripcord, rather. Let's see you later, guys. I'm just a regular privateer who will stay here doing my regular privateer things. Fuck. I was hoping that that would pay off. It totally didn't. Oh well. At least now I know that I uh, can't go there yet. In a pretty clear and uncertain terms. God damn it, Jace. Are there any relics in this water I should be worried about? No. Okay. Um... Is that the last trial of the Rocky Opera over there? I don't think it is. But still. Oh, 
All right. So yeah, now we're just heading north. So yeah, at some point, um, I'm going to record myself just doing all the side quests with a muted microphone. That's not creepy at all. Cuz like a lot of them are a lot of them are very boring. I did one where um this uh this mom was like, "Oh, you have to find my baby." And the dad was like, "Yeah, she and her boyfriend like left to go commit like suicide together." Um and like I got so bored that I didn't even finish the cutscene, but you can't skip cutscenes, so I tabbed out and like uh, worked on editing for a little bit until the cutscene was over. So it was only like two minutes, but you know, my editing is pretty rudimentary. Nice. Is that a cassowary? Better not be. Oh, it's regular chickens. Well, any chicken's a friend of mine. This game doesn't have an auto run button like New Vegas, and sometimes I kind of resent that. Oh yes, by now my New Vegas uh, hardcore mode LP uh, will be coming out, I guess. Well, that's fun. Even the flag is different. That's all I, I like that. Oh man. Okay, so I guess I'll come back and do it after I'm done with the. Uh, this thing. Okay, we got a hoovy over there. Those dudes. Oh man. Okay. Yeah, heavies are starting to become very, very common. Nope, I'm not in here, dude. What are you doing? Okay, so I think heavies are so fucking fat that you can't even drag them anywhere if you wanted them to, like, move. Because the drag takedown, I don't think, works on them. They have such a big, heavy uh, stab animation that it almost, like, locks you into it. Which makes sense, but, you know. Again, uh, Ubisoft spoon feeding you the game here. It's like, your trespassers will be shot on sub, by the way. This is my, like, this is what, my fifth outpost? And, like, my tenth, uh. My tenth, like, fuck location or whatever. Oh, man. I was so close. We'll be there in 30 ticks. 30, just say 30 seconds, dude. I mean, I guess the other ones are like, we'll be there in half a minute. We're coming in from the east. Okay, reinforcements are here, which means that I no longer actually have to worry about them. Another one down. The issue is that none of these guys are tagged, which means I'm going to have to do this the old-fashioned way. I see something I'm going to put to good use. Well, never mind. I thought they would have been a little closer to me. Now all of China knows I'm here.
Gotta say, this suit is so fly, though. We're coming in from the way. What? How are there more guys? Oh, man. Roman. That's clean. Damn it! I didn't know he was there, and I guess he doesn't count for the death from above. Also, I realize that I've been saying death from above like it's DBA, but that's not what that is. Death from above is would be DFA. Oh, and of course it doesn't start me next to the fucking thing that I was working on. Dickheads. Like, again... The greatest difficulty in this game is the mediocre save and checkpoint system. Said it before, say it again. It really, really needs work. I going? There's the compound, which means that I need to go here. Stubborn kid farm. Oh, like a goat. Haha, <laughs> very funny. Of course, there's no checkpoints because that would be too easy. Okay, so my problem was that I just didn't do it stealthily enough, I think. Hey guys. I like how they realized that I was bad the second they saw me take out the C4. Guessing I won't be able to use that truck though. Totally invisible. My secrets will never be known. Alright. So the sun's coming down, which means that I'm gonna have to do this in a cover of night. The hell was that? <sighs> and of course, I've got a lot more silenced weapons, which means that I should be doing this. Oh yeah, I got this gun as well. It's a pretty nice piece. It's one of the tier three, I guess, uh, weapons that you only unlock when you come to this island and start doing these uh, towers. See, doing that's a lot faster than just walking around like an idiot. And I also feel like I'm getting more done when I do that, you know? Oh, man. But yeah, here's my complaints. Fall damage. Saving. That's primarily the issues. The unskippable cutscenes thing is... Third, though. Like, I th I think the, the save system in this game is just so bad. Hey, guys. Go on. Okay, so I think I've got a pretty s safe shot to get in here from this side. Because I don't think anybody noticed me over there.
Hmm. Okay. That could be a problem. But he's also not looking right at me. Stab, stab. All right. And then we just come on up here. Oop. Come inside, man. Come on. Come inside. There you go. There you go. And then get on down. Nice. So where is everyone? Of course, this is all of everyone now. I'm not going to have... There's not going to be reinforcements. Which means that I can handle this a lot easier. Like, this guy's just doing his rounds. A respectable hustle, but unfortunately... And now you, sir. What about that? Was that good? There's more guy. Right, right. One more guy, one more guy. Now, what is that thing? Okay, is that enough for you? There you go. Bring up that rock yacht flag for me. All right. It's pretty smoking. That was an entirely knife. That was a knife only. Um, that was a knife only. Okay, so this is all done. I guess I'll grab that one. Okay. Now these are right here, so I guess I could also just keep heading north and then quick travel, come back, do them on a, uh, do them on a thing. But I will need the radio tower, and it's also right there. I feel like it's different, you know. The trial of the Rakia thing, like, I know I need to do it, but like, it doesn't give me shit that I want right now. Whereas this gives me my map, so anything for the map. Um, it's still posting for me, even though I finished the LP. I finished recording the LP. The LP is posting for me. Um, and you might recall from a few months ago when I played through Cry of Fear, uh, my primary complaint was that I did not have a map. That was demoralizing. Like, survival horror games are made by their map, and open world games are helped out dramatically by their map. Like, the nature of an open world game it ha is that it has a larger game world, and so you must have a map to help keep track of it, because otherwise, you got anarchy. I wonder if there are any open world games without a map, because I know that there are some that just have bad map systems that don't, like, like, the map doesn't work very well or doesn't tell you enough, you know, doesn't have enough going on, but, like, are there any, like, open world games that just straight don't have a map? Because I think that that would be, um, nearing unplayable. To be honest with you. Oh. Damn it. I feel like I just failed an algebra problem because I got it right, but I didn't show my work. Like, every time with these little towers. They're not that interesting, you know? And they're just cribbed so wholeheartedly from Assassin's Creed. Really, dude? Yeah, I wanted to jump off. They just have so little going on. In terms of, like, game design, 
I, I see why you would want the brand recognition. It's like, hey, we're Ubisoft. We have big fucking dumbass towers. But, like, you don't need to have that across company. It can just be an Assassin's Creed game. Only you are making it the Ubisoft tower. Like, you're forcing this meme, dude. It's you. So wait, is this way safer? I think it is a little safer. Okay. You have to do your regular jump instead of the... There, Jesus. Way too many attempts for that. That was, uh... I mean, I'd say it's not worth it. But, like, none of these have really been worth it. It's just that the game forces me to do them, or else I can't have the map. Hey, why am I still using the machete? I have the Tonto. Yep, just as cool the first time, Ubisoft. Because it didn't get cooler. It, it was lame then. Of course, it was pretty cool when you first did in Assassin's Creed, but... It's, uh, what, 13 years ago now? You've shown your hand a little bit, is what I'm getting at here. Okay, so we've got those quests. Okay. Let's see about that, huh? Oh, man. All I've got is three radio towers. I can definitely do that off camera. So another nice thing about the parachute is that it gives you a little bit of vertical height. Because the momentum of it dragging you up, it gives you a little bit of height. It's very workable. It helps you avoid taking fall damage, which is truly the real reason one has a parachute. Permits you to uh, go a little further, a little longer, which I like. Oh, little rat. Hello, field mouse. So yeah, um, I don't think I've done it yet, but it is now possible to go from uh, from hang glider to wingsuit. Like, glide, jump out, shoot. Hmm. Is that what you wanted? Huh, no. Okay. Usually blowing it up works. Well, anyway, goodbye. Let me just do my big Jason pant all the way up the hill. I think I've already gotten the uh, ability to sprint forever. Warning, do not abandon or abandon mines. Well, ain't that just an invitation for fun? Hey guys, what's going on? I tried to do the double takedown, but it only activated, like, it didn't give me the chance. It, uh, it deactivated just as he, or rather, the animation stopped just as he was walking out of frame. Damn, it's like all the way down there, huh? This sucks. I think at this stage in the game, the game practically requires you to have the wingsuit because you just would get it. Ah, oh, what the hell. We can skip this one for now as well. But let's go here. And 
then we can hopefully stealth it up. Hello, bird. Wait, aren't there eagles in Far Cry 4? Are those fun? Or are they like cliff racers? Cliff racers, cliff racers, for those who don't know, are this freakish, like, super boss. They are, well, no, they're not really that scary. But they're an uh, enemy from Morrowind. They're a default, like, level one enemy, basically. They're not particularly strong. All they really got going for them is the fact that they can fly. Nice. And see, this is stealthier. Now, that roll sheet. Let's take care of those captains. Perfect. Now, there's three of them, yeah? Why do I get the feeling I'm going to have to kill all three of them? Is that what they're wiping their ass with? That's a bit crude, wouldn't you say? So how provoked are we talking here? Like... Hey, I owe you a call. See, this is a little strange, you know? Because it's not that we have a, um, a stealth mission. It's just that they can't see me, you know? How odd. You know? Oh, hey, man. Of course, at the very least, now I'm able to, like, kill. See, Jason can't look at this and, like, take a picture of it. It's a map, dog. Like, does Jason have to have it beamed to his iPhone or it won't work? Still nothing. Last guy better be carrying something. Well, there you go. Ain't that just the way it goes? Right, so where is this guy even? Oop. Jace, come on. Okay, so there's heavies down there. I don't like that, but if I know something, then that means I'm probably going to have to go down there. That classic rule of video games. Enemies and the way forward are identical. But hey, look at that, ain't that fun? He didn't see that? Hey, dude. So, like, now we get to a point where this is partially, like, oh, well, it's easy, it's lame and stuff. But also, it's a thing of, like, hey, uh, it's easy to kill, you know? These guys aren't even putting up resistance. They're not putting up a fight. How's it going? They greet me cordially. They're not impolite. They're just, they're working. So it's like, it's, it's, because the, the, oh, fine. I was going to go do the fucking side quest, but whatever. Because one of the things about, um, killing when it's something like this is like, if it gets to the point where you can like safely kill an innocent person, then you're completely out of your mind, you know? Because up till now, Jason has been killing in self-defense. But the thing about stealth killing is that that's kind of not self-defense by its nature, because you're killing preemptively. That's it's not good, you know? Sam, I visited the temple. Got all three guys, nothing. The roll sheet eludes you. 
This makes me sad. Yeah. yeah, but I did find a note. They're meeting in a couple of days. Apparently, it's important. Then the roll sheet will be at the meeting. I am happy again. <laughs> in the meantime, Sam's the best. Fix for Hoyt. Want to come along for the ride? Sure. Wunderbar. Meet me at the drug fields. I have a situation to defuse. Hoyt is, in fact, one of the only, like, characters I actually really like in this game. But yeah, like I say, we're getting to a point where, like, Jason is now willfully, intentionally, like, murdering people who just, like, walk up to him and say hello. And granted, part of that's because of player choice. I am the one choosing to do that. But Jason is the player and vice versa. I have made a conscious choice to do that. And the game through a very conscious design choice, has allowed me to do that. And so Jason's killing spree continues. Jason becomes more of a killer. Jason starts slipping further and further into, you know, the path of not, not being completely a good guy and, in fact, being a complete monster. Who's laughing like that? That is bananas. That's like the fakest laugh I've ever heard. I hear my wife chopping something, which is a little weird because it is 12 at night. But you know her. I mean, you know all of us. Besides, it's the weekend. I have free reign to go nuts. To an extent. I've got a TikTok song stuck in my head and I hate it. It's not even a good one, because like sometimes there's a, a TikTok song that is like ruined by TikTok. Sometimes though, you, you get a song that is just garbage. Like, it's only popular because of TikTok. Something that really rubs me the wrong way. I I, I kinda hate seeing um TikToks that use songs that don't actually have any idea of what they're about. And that has nothing to do with like like, what the song is, but, like, sometimes, like, a song is associated with a particular specific challenge, and then doing something that has nothing to do with that challenge, but you still use that song, I hate that. I don't like that, you know? Just put it on YouTube, put it somewhere else. Huh? Okay. So you can see now that Jason is also... I, I wanted to call this out, but the knife throw is the first way Jason ever sees a murder happen. Um, like, the knife throw is very mythologically important for Jason. Because, like, think about a melee attack. You know, it's close. It's personal. It's, it's specific. Whereas a gun is impersonal. It's far away. Um, and throwing a knife, you know, changes the close personal attack into a far impersonal one. But also, the knife throw is something that Jason unlocks through this island's Tatao, but it's something that he could have learned back home, because his brother does it. In the very first few minutes of a game, Grant throws a knife through a pirate's throat, uh, killing him instantly. Not to mention silently and bloodlessly. Well, not bloodlessly. Very much not bloodless. You guys keep going. I'm gonna... I'm gonna... Get up here. All right. Place this joint. Lot of snipers. Yeah, so only now am I actually in a restricted area. See, so yeah, Jason's learn, learning of, like, to kill. It's a very intentional path, you know? There we go. I hit four, but it didn't bring the bow up. Weird.
now that they're all looking i love this by the way i love killing some guy on the far left of the base and then running around to the far right like i i love it it's like a shuffle I, it's fantastic Yes. Yes. Long have we been enemies, but now we are friends. I would love if wearing the privateer stuff had an inherent body armor bonus. Because I don't think it does, but it would make sense, because before, Jason and the pirates are just wearing regular clothes. But after that, Jason and the privateers are wearing armor. I don't know if the privateers are actually stronger, but, like, it would make sense, no? Oh, come on. He's still getting so grossed out by- This is implausible, Jace. Work with me here. Fuck you. Alright. Now where are we going? Uh, three ti kill three tigers with an SMG. I'll come back and do that later, thanks. I, uh, I don't like the sound of that. Not one bit. Hey, that's good. 15 out of 20. So is that actually, like, have I found the 15th one, or is that... 2, 3, 4, 5... Oh. So it is the 15th one, but I found the 16th one. That's a weird coincidence. Anyway. <sighs> Quick sell. I had 44 loot items on me. Been a while since I last hit the shop, huh? Okay. I've got some money, though, which means that I can probably... Oh, I'm done. Wow. Uh, that's fantastic. All right. Actually, wait. Let me get uh, another signature weapon. I haven't gotten a new one in a while. That's... That's rad. I'm gonna go with Shredder. And let's swap out our classic MP5 with it. I also haven't really used the vector in like actual combat. I used it in the uh, cutscene boss fight against Voss, but like, boy, that doesn't really count. To continue in the path of a warrior, you should take a look at the jobs on the bulletin board. Uh, I should go back and grab some armor as well. Look at, look at yeah, Tuka Tuka, man. Get a glitchy, baby. Actually, now that I'm here, I can still keep going, right? Yeah. Nice, that's everything. Oh, wow. Okay. That's cool. That's cool. Okay. Let's uh, bust on out of here and head on to the next uh, big quest. Nice. That was, that was textbook. Absolutely textbook, Jace. I'll pull up. Perfect. Avoid the power line. I, I hate it when your parachute gets tangled in power lines. Come to the drug fields. Nice, nice. I like it, I like it. So, I'm nearing the end of the episode here, as I'm sure you can tell. You're the one watching this damn thing. What am I missing? I'm missing this chunk of the island and this chunk. Each of these are the three things that I'm missing. Actually, I have a whole thing for this, don't I? Damn straight I do. Handbook. Um, nine missions left, and I'm about to start one. Missing three towers. 
missing eight outposts. Those relics are going to be a bitch, but got to do it. Uh, halfway done the letters. I forgot to do that trial of the rock yacht. I can come back and do that. I decided I would come back and do that. Right, right. Um, almost on the memory cards. Almost on the wanted dead. So yeah, five of these and five of these. Uh, seven of these. And 11 of those. I'm not sure what designs a story quest. Oh, wait. Is a story quest just a side quest? In that case, that's not a problem at all. I can do that no problem. <laughs> that's nice and dirty. I like that. Drug fields. They have rigged bombs. Oh, so now there's even inner party conflict. I don't okay. That. It's cool. You ready? Let's crack! Seriously? He's not a man for stealth or subtlety. I love I love Sam, honestly. I don't think he does anything to make me not like him. Whereas, like, everyone else is, like, just kind of a mediocre character. Like, Sam's great. Sam's awesome. I wish I could have met Sam way earlier. Okay, I'm covering you. Is that... Oh, there's a bar. Okay. Pirate... Wow, seeing pirates again is wild. Like, you kind of actually miss out on certain enemy types, because while, um, while privateers still have snipers and the like, there are no, there's no equivalent of, like, dude who runs at you with machete. Ooh, big frame. Yeah, there's no equivalent of, like, machete man. Or of, um, Molotov Cocktail for Roman. Alright, 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 come on, come on. This is, uh, this is not going good. I, I really still adore the, the burn tech in this game. Blitzkrieg! What a great character, you know? Oh, this is silence. That's great. Where is he? Was he up? Oh, he was, yeah. Get ready. Oh, let's party, huh? So you can see that the pirates use very simple body armor while the privateer is like... Like, the pirates just put like a, a, a fucking like store-bought uh, bulletproof over a, uh, over a regular t-shirt. Trying to use the cover system here. It's, uh, it's kind of key, but I'm actually liking it a little more with mouse and keyboard. It was not good on a console. Whereas here, the peak is really, really useful. This dude is so behind the times. Like Jason has has caught up to modern warfare, more or less. Not the game, but like Jason is is like has a. Oh man, where? There. Wow, that was a slow arrow. It's Boogie Dude. Chaser. Oh, sorry. Shit. That ain't good. 
Uh, I'm gonna beat this mission and cut the episode. Time is short. We need to move. Okay, so there should be this fool in the tower, right? Yep, there he is. Oh, I killed him before he got into position. That was cool. Throwing grenades around active bombs is probably fine, right? Nice and easy. Uh, let's throw this. Got Next. enough of those. The last bomb is here. Got me. You got it. You man, that turret over there. It will help me sleep at night. <laughs> oh boy. Hey, Sam. I love that. I love. I love like windows in a firefight and he's like just seeing me like doing all this crazy fucking XCOM shit outside quick dash into cover toke up Let's get the hell out of here, huh? That's a powerful handgun. Like that's like one of those guns that you that you save for like killing a boss in like a Resident Evil game. Oh boy. What's up, Jace? That is a deck you're gonna want to hit. Oh wait, I, I have this. Don't worry, dude. I got this for this exact express purpose. Oh man! Took down a chopper by myself, but a random guy with a uh, one of the oldest guns in the world took me down. No problem. All right, so yeah. There. Oh man, I'm back here. Huh? Chica, we're short on time. All right, the turret isn't bad, and I'm thinking that if I start cycling it earlier. Did you drop a grenade? Yep, he did. Yeah, if I just start cycling the turret earlier, it shouldn't be uh, as hard. Yeah, swap this. Give me that. The next, the last bomb is here. Got me. You got it, Sam. You man, that turret over there. It will help me sleep at night. It's good. I guess we have finally got the turret. What the hell is he stopping? Sorry, twelve. Well, get my numbers confused over here. Back on the gun. Oh, is he getting in? Oh my god! That chopper on. You got it, Sam. Oh man, that bloom. Oh, am I getting high from the weed smoke again? Man, that's a that's such a great mechanic. So I think you can cancel out of the uh, reload animation of this thing partially by healing, which is good because it has a really long reload animation. I will tell Hoyt that you work with me. It should grease the wheels, yeah? But I still need the roll sheet. Yeah, back to that. I had a flash of where it might be. Of genius, a spark of genius. Okay, I'll check it out. 
Be sure to take a picture of the guilty ones. <laughs> so yeah, Sam is just, he's a dude who is just, he looks scary and evil. Like, he's a German guy, he's got a cross tattoo on his chest, he's got a scary fucking accent, and he's a mercenary. And so all the mercenaries are like, oh man, we better promote him, you know? We've got a crazy Nazi on our side now, no one's ever gonna stand in our way. Nicest guy in the world, you know? He's the perfect double agent, because no one ever thinks that a guy with a German accent is gonna be on the side of good. And like, let's be fair, he's got some uh, devotion to the part he's playing. But so does Jason, and it's why I think they work together so well. They're such a fantastic duo. So, yeah, as I said, I'm gonna quick travel to where- or I'm gonna finish the mission. But as I'm saying now, I'm gonna quick travel to wherever the nearest point is. And then I'm gonna cut the episode. All right, um, see so yeah, that's, uh, that's Far Cry, that's Far Cry 3 for this time. What is this? Oh, it's just a door. Right. Duh, idiot. That's Far Cry 3. Um, next episode is gonna be a, um, uh, next episode is gonna be without Mike, so I'm gonna be able to, so it's just gonna be game audio, um, and I'm just gonna be doing some other things. But yeah, um, thanks for coming, I'll see you guys next time. Uh, I've been Alfred, Far Cry 3. We're coming close to the end. Uh, it's been a very fun LP, so I'll see you guys later. Bye.